high speed, high precision. Two terms that machine tool manufacturers love to use when describing their product. But today, I can assure you, this is not just marketing talk. Because today, the MTS Industry Show is at Gen Tiger, one of Taiwan's premier manufacturers of high speed machining sanders. And today, we not only have one, two, three, no, four machines to showcase. So today's episode is packed with five axis machining solutions. But first, let us learn more about Gentiger, the company and their product range with General Manager Mr. Lee and Vice General Manager Mr. Joe Wang. Mr. Lee, Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome to Tiger. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us, Mr. Lee. And nice to meet you as well, Mr. Wang. Nice to meet you. All right, so Mr. Lee, maybe some people are not that familiar with Gen Tiger yet, so maybe you can tell us a little bit more about the company and about your products. Xinujiang 做到高精度、快速晋级及高速切销等特性，并朝工业四点零智慧生产迈进，以品质保证唯一的目标。Okay, thank you very much. So high quality, high precision, and above all, high speed machining centers, right, Mr. Wang? That's what your machines are all about. So why don't you share a little bit more about your philosophy in terms of high speed machining? Okay. Uh, as we know, the high-speed machine is used to cut 3D curved surface for mold and precision pass machining. During the cutting process, the machine will do acceleration and deceleration. Mm -hmm. If machine structure is not strong enough, it will occur vibration. So the cutting surface will be bad. So the high-rigid structure is the basic of the high-speed machine. Okay, the foundation. Yeah, that's right. In addition, in order to get precise and smooth surface, it need to match with big power saw motor, high level controller and high performance spindle to get high cutting accuracy and efficiency. Okay, so rigidity and power. Yeah, uh, those are the main features of the high speed machine. Okay, excellent. And uh, the company, Gen Tiger, you have almost three decades of experience, right? Yeah, that's right. Gen Tiger is a company, a professional produced high speed machine already 26 years. We always follow this concept to develop our product. Okay, excellent. And today we will take a very close look at four of your products. And uh, Mr. Wang, you'll be the one in the following days who shows us around and shows us the machines, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, and Mr. Lee, we will see you again at the end of the show after the Q&A session. Thank you so much so far. Thank you. All right, so I think uh, the people are waiting and I am waiting. I can't wait to see the first machine the ML800, right? Yeah, that's right. Milton 5-axis machining center. Okay, a Milton 5-axis high-speed machining center. Let's check it out, the ML800. So here we are at one of Gen Tiger's manufacturing facilities and I am here, of course, with Joe Wang, the Vice General Manager of Gen Tiger. And behind us, you can see the machine that we're going to introduce to you now, the ML800. Now, this is a 5-axis Milton machining center. And Joe, it's one of the latest additions to your product range, right? Yeah, that's right. All right, so before we talk about some of the amazing features of this machine, Tell us a little bit about the main applications, the main industries for the ML800. Okay, uh, the ML800 is widely used to mold and pass machining. The suitable industry include automobile, aerospace, uh, home appliance, energy and other industries. All right, so um, all industries that require high precision, high speed machining of complex parts. Yeah, that's right. Now, we just mentioned that this is one of your latest models. I believe you started selling it about two years ago, right? Yeah, that's right. But you've already received an award, right? Uh, yes, we are honored to receive the National Brand Nissan Award. This award selects best quality product and encourages manufacturers to develop a better product. All right, so the Yushan Award here in Taiwan, it's a renowned award in the manufacturing industry. So 
clearly you've already impressed the people that select the companies for that award. Yeah. And now it's time to impress potential customers that are watching. Yes. Right. All right, so let's get right into it, the ML800. Yeah. So let's start with the basics, the foundation, the structural design. What can you tell us about the design? Yeah, I'm very excited to introduce this machine. We are very excited yeah. to learn more about it. Yeah, that's right. The ML800 is a Newton 5-axis machining center. The travel of X and Y, Z axis is one meter by one meter by one meter. Okay, one by one by one. Yeah, okay. the machine structure is T-shaped design. So the table moves on the X axis independently to get the stable support. Okay, stable support. And yeah. uh, what about the column structure? Yeah, the column, we use the wall type design. So the structure is very strong. And combined together with best by hand scraping surface mm -hmm. to get the best rigidity. Okay, so further increasing the rigidity yeah, during yeah. high-speed machining operations. Yeah, that's right. yes. And next up, we, talk, we talked about the x-axis. What about the y-axis? What's special about the design there? Yeah, on the y-axis, we install three linear guideway mm -hmm. to increase dynamic rigidity. So again, yeah, and the large rigidity. span design mm -hmm. can get a very stable support during cutting process. Okay. Okay, now we also want to talk about lubrication, I believe, right? Yeah, the linear guideway and both screw. We use grease lubrication system mm -hmm. to reduce pollution of waste oil. Okay. And so it can protect the environment. All right, so also looking for environmentally friendly design yes. solutions, features. Yeah, that's right. All right, beautiful. Now we've covered the structure, the basics at the very least, and now I want to talk about another very important component, the spindle. So may I open this door? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll just open it and we have a better look at it. Oh, look at this workspace, man. Yeah. Wow, it's a lot of space to work with when you're machining, it's beautiful. So the spindle, we see it in the background. What can you tell us about the spindle, Joe? Okay, the spindle is 14,000 RPM, mm -hmm. HSK T63 okay. motor spindle. The spindle power can reach 19 kilowatt. Okay, it has clutch brake function. Mm -hmm. So not only milling, it can do turning as well. Okay, so milling, turning application, so you get a lot of flexibility with yeah. the spindle. Now, when speaking of uh, the spindle, an important topic is heat generation or heat control. So how do you keep the temperature, the spindle temperature in check? Yeah, uh, for spindle cooling, uh, we use constant temperature control cooler to mm -hmm. cool spindle. Mm -hmm. It can keep the coolant in 0 0.2 degree to get the high cooling efficiency and to reduce spindle thermal extension. All right, high cooling efficiency. Yeah. And we want to talk more about the spindle, to be precise about the spindle head, because it has quite an interesting design, right? This 45 degree spindle head is uh, designed by ourselves. The rigidity is better than general swivel head. Yeah. This 45 degree design, uh, machine can do vertical meaning like a vertical machining center mm -hmm. and horizontal meaning like a horizontal machining center. Okay. So it's very useful for different applications. So just uh, what we just mentioned, the flexibility that you get yeah. with this design and when the, with this spindle head, 45 degree spindle head. So you can perform uh, machining applications that uh, you would normally maybe need two or three machines for. And yeah, you can do right. it on this one machine, the ML800. Yes. All right, so that was the spindle. Now another very important, crucial component, of course, for 5-axis machining is the rotary table that we can see here. And uh, Joe, you just mentioned that the spindle, the spindle head is your own design, right? Yeah. And you manufacture it yourself. But that's not the case uh, for the rotary table. But you have a, a supplier that you've been working uh, with for very for a very very long time from Europe, right? Yeah, that's right. The rotary table is made in Italy. Uh, it is direct drive system by torque motor. Mm -hmm. The table diameter is 800 millimeter. The rotary speed can reach uh, 500 rpm. Okay. The table load is three tons. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about the workpiece size? The maximum. Uh, workpiece size uh, for this rotary table? Yeah, the maximum uh, machining size is one meter in diameter, one meter in height. Okay, okay, yes. excellent. So um, we were just talking about multitasking, so milling and turning applications. Yeah. That's what uh, the ML800 excels at. But yeah. there might be some people now watching as well yes. who think, well, actually, I don't need to do any turning. I only want milling. So, could you make some adjustments for them? Yeah, uh, maybe some customers, they don't need the 
turning function, mm. we can offer only medium as well. Okay. So and the what? table will change to one meter in diameter, mm -hmm. and the load is two point five ton. The rotate speed is uh, ninety RPM. Okay. So you would make some adjustments so that it's uh, specifically designed or set up for milling applications. Yes, and the spindle we will change to uh, twenty thousand mm -hmm. RPM HSK okay, so higher speed. X sixty three without clutch brake function. All right, Joe, so next up we want to talk about the Tool Magazine. I believe for the ML800, the standard is a 40 Tool Magazine, right? Yeah, that's right. The standard Tool Magazine uh, of ML800 is mm -hmm. 40 tools. Okay. The option is 60 tools. But you also but have some customization options, yeah, right? Yeah, we can offer more tools mm -hmm. for customers' requirements. Yeah. Okay, so it depends on the individual requirements of your customers? Yes, that's right. Okay, and also I believe uh, we have uh, tool uh, measuring systems and workpiece measuring systems, fully automated. Yeah, uh, we have the uh, complex tool measurement device. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it can measure milling tools and turning tools. And we also have the workpiece measuring system. It can measure workpiece accuracy after cutting. Mm -hmm. So all those measuring is automatically. Okay, so automatic measuring and all the data I get uh, in uh, my software, I can uh, see all the data and review my machining results and make adjustments if necessary. Yes, the uh, machine equipped with a network interface, mm -hmm. so it can transmit the program and data very easily. Okay, yeah. so also very suitable for smart manufacturing applications and also very suitable to use in combination with other automation equipment such as robotic arms or pellet changers, right? Yeah, that's right. You can see the door is double open. So it has a large space and it is very easy to put the workpiece on the mm -hmm. table. Okay, easy yeah. loading and unloading of the workpiece? Yeah, that's right. Besides, it can equip with robot system and pellet changer system mm -hmm. to do some automated application. Okay, so also an excellent machine if you want to use it in an automated automated work cell, for example. Yeah, that's right. Okay, mm. and uh, lastly, let's talk real quick about the controller, Joe. Oh, so yeah. the standard controller is Heidenhain, right? Yeah, the controller is Heidenhain TNC uh, 640. Okay. Uh, we can install Siemens F40D mm -hmm. as well. All right, so two options for potential customers. Yeah, that's right. All right, Joe, so I think we've covered the most important features of the ML800, but now we want to talk about a topic that I'm sure everyone watching is very interested in. It's the accuracy of the machine, machining yes. accuracy, positioning accuracy. So yeah. why don't we walk over here, get an even better look at the work area, and uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit about what you pay special attention to when you're trying to achieve the highest precision, highest accuracy possible. Yeah, that's right. In order to get the high accuracy of fire axis machining, the ambient temperature of machine is very important. Mm -hmm. It will affect accuracy, obviously. Okay. So in standard uh, measurement with temperature control condition, the ML 800's verticality are all less than 6 microns. 6 microns? Yes. Okay, so super, super high accuracy. So what about uh, positioning accuracy then? The position accuracy are all less than 5 microns oh, wow. on okay. X and Y, Z axis. Oh wow, okay, below 5 microns. So yeah. what about the uh, rotary table? Oh, the rotary axis positioning accuracy mm -hmm. are less than 5 arc seconds. 5 arc seconds. Yeah. Okay, and another uh, keyword here when it comes to accuracy is roundness as well? Uh, the roundness accuracy uh, are all less than 5 microns for each two axes. Okay, so all across the board, very, very tight tolerances, very high accuracy. Yeah, that's right. So, Joe, another important uh, topic when it comes to fiber axis machining is, an, is a compensation mechanism to make up for the so-called dynamic following errors, right? What can yeah. you tell us about that? Talking about the fiber axis dynamic following error, in order to get the high accuracy of fiber axis simultaneous machining, mm -hmm. Uh, each axis should be matched together mm -hmm. very precisely. Okay. So we need to do the kinematic compensation. Okay, kinematic it, compensation. Yeah, it can compensate the rotate center deviation mm -hmm. and the heat deviation from rotation All right. to enhance the pre, uh, cutting precision. Wow, Joe, that sounds quite com complicated to me. So with this kind of mechanism, um, 
uh, within what range can you keep that dynamic following error? Yes, uh, the ABR800 dynamic following error can reach plus and minus 20 microns. All right, 20 microns, wow. And actually, Joe, we have filmed uh, two work pieces that you use um, to test the accuracy of your machine to ensure that you reach, achieve the accuracy that your customers expect from you, right? So we have two work pieces and we filmed the video and uh, everyone watching can see the video right now. So what is work piece number one? Yeah, uh, the number one is the rumble test. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This rumble is cut by five inches simultaneous. Uh, we measure the roundness is less than uh, 30 microns. All right, and we have a second one. What about the second work piece that we want to showcase? Yeah, the second work piece is a tangle work piece. We cut by three axes first, and then rotate at different angles to do fixed axis cutting. The main purpose is to test the rotation accuracy and the influence of the temperature rise of the spindle on the cutting surface. The cutting accuracy is less than 20 microns. All right, excellent. Joe, thank you very much for introducing the ML800. Yeah, it's my pleasure to introduce, yes. And of course, if you are interested in this 5-axis mill turn machining center, you can just contact Gen Tiger at any time. But Joe, we're not done yet. We've got three more machines that we want to talk about. Yes, that's right. And I believe the next one is a gantry type machining center. Yes, that's right. All right, are you ready? Should we just go and check it out? Okay, let's go. Let's go. MTS Industry Show at Gen Tiger Part 2. Me and Mr. Joe Wang, Gen Tiger's Vice General Manager, have arrived at the second machine that we want to showcase today. Now, the machine behind me, that's the H2517F. And Joe, this is one of your bigger machines that you have to offer. And this one is a gantry type machining center, right? Yeah, this is gantry type 5S machining center. Uh, for this machine, mm -hmm. we have obtained some uh, design patterns mm -hmm. such as uh, arc-shaped cross beam and the box saddle. All right, design patterns for the cross beam structure and the box saddle. Now, we'll be talking about these uh, design features in a few moments in more detail. But first, Joe, let's start as well with some basics. So give us the travels, the XYZ travel for this machine. Okay, uh, the machine travel is 2.5 meter by 1.7 meter by 1 meter. Okay, so clearly a much, much bigger machine compared to the first one. Yeah. And uh, so what can you tell us about the machine structure? The machine base, it's a one-piece one structure, right? Yeah, that's right. The machine base is one-piece casting design. At the corner, we have an arc shape design to get uh, more rigidity and better resistance to deformation. All right, increasing uh, deformation resistance and rigidity. And uh, we just talked about the machine base, it's one piece. And that's also true for the column structure, right? Yeah, that's right. The column is one-piece casting design. Uh, it has a large contact area with base and combined together by hand scraping surface to get the best rigidity uh, to resist vibration. All right, so increasing uh, vibration resistance as well. Yeah, now, right. Joe, we want to talk about the x-axis, the transmission there. We've got double bolt screws, right? Yeah, that's right. The x-axis is driven by double bolt screws. It has an inner cooling system to reduce the thermal extension. Okay. In addition, we use rotating nut driving system. This moving system is more stable because the bolt screw is stationary. So it has no vibration from bolt screw rotation. All right. Now, Joe, let's talk about the first of the two patented designs that we mentioned earlier on this machine, the H2517F which is the crossbeam design. What can you tell us about the crossbeam structure? Yes, uh, the crossbeam is a unique design. You can see the button, it is an arc shape design. It can increase the rigidity to prevent the deformation from the center of crossbeam. It can keep long-term accuracy. In addition, if you look the crossbeam front side, it is trapezoid. The moving part gravity center moves inner to get more stable support and the linear guide with big span design can get better support during cutting process. The Y-axis bolt screw has inner cooling to reduce thermal extension as okay. well. Okay, and the Z-axis, I believe also we have double bolt screws there? Yes, Z-axis is also driven by double bolt screw. It has a high dynamic response 
to get more uh, movie efficiency. Okay, increasing transmission efficiency. Now, John, we have one more topic that we want to highlight when it comes to the structure, which is the second design pattern, right? Yes, uh, for the buck saddle design. We install four linear guideways inside to support spindle head to increase the rigidity during cutting process. All right, Joe, now let's move on to our next topic, which is the spindle and the spindle head. So yeah. let me just uh, open the front door here so we get a better look at it. And there we see it. And the spindle head is also manufactured in Italy, right? Yeah, that's right. These two SS heads is made in Italy. We can offer made in Germany or Taiwan as well. Okay, so different choices when it comes to the brand of the spindle head, but there we have even more options. Yeah, that's right. We can offer single side or fork type to match customer's requirement. The standard spindle is 24,000 RPM, HSK A63. We can offer 12,000 RPM or 15,000 RPM, HSK A100 as well. For spindle cooling, we use constant temperature control cooler to cool spindle. It can keep spindle coolant in 0.2 degree to get the high cooling efficiency to reduce spindle thermal extension. All right, and uh, just like with the ML800 for the H2517F, we also have automatic measuring of uh, the tool and the workpiece, right? Yeah, that's right. The laser tool measurement device and workpiece measuring device mm -hmm. uh, are standard for this machine. Mm -hmm. uh, they can measure tool and workpiece automatically. Okay, excellent. And we have one more feature, one more component that we want to talk about, which is the tool magazine, which comes standard with 24 slots. Yeah, that's right. The standard tool magazine is 24 tools. Mm -hmm. The option is 60 tools. Okay. We can offer more tools for customer requirement. Okay, so again, you've got some customization options there yeah, as well. That's right. Now, finally, let us quickly talk again about the controller that's also Heidenheim. Yeah, and that's right. The controller is Heidenheim PNC 640. Mm -hmm. We can offer Siemens mm -hmm. S40D as well. Okay, okay. Yeah. And also we have the network interface, right? Yeah, that's right. The network interface is standard. It can easily to transmit the programming data. All right, so you've got all the data, machining data, at one glance readily available, either at the controller or at your computer. Yeah, that's right. Okay, beautiful. Now, Joe, let's move on and talk about accuracy uh, yeah. for the H2517F as well. And you mentioned uh, when we were talking about the ML800 that the ambient temperature, the surrounding temperature, will affect, of course, the accuracy, especially of a five-axis machining center. Yeah, that's so right. all the numbers that you're about to tell us when it comes to the accuracy of this machine were tested under those standard temperature circumstances. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's very important yeah. uh, to mention before we talk yeah. about the accuracy. So, Joel, take it away. We start with verticality. Okay, the verticality are all less than 10 microns. Between B axis and C axis is less than 15 microns on single side from C axis center. Between C axis center and table is less than 20 microns. The positioning accuracy is less than 6 microns. And for rotate axis is 5 arc seconds. And finally, the roundness is less than 5 microns for each two axis. Okay, beautiful. And the H2517F also has that uh, compensation mechanism to eliminate dynamic following errors, right? Yeah, that's right. In order to get the high accuracy of five axis simultaneous machining, each axis should be matched together precisely. So we need to do the kinematic compensation. It can compensate the rotate center deviation and the thermal deviation from the rotation. It can enhance the accuracy of machining. The H2517F dynamic following error is within 20 microns. Okay, plus minus 20 microns, just, that's like nothing. Yeah, that's So right. very, very extreme precision. Yes. Okay, beautiful. Now, Joe, also for this machine, we have some footage that we've pre-recorded of uh, some test work pieces. So maybe you can talk a little bit about what we're seeing now. Yeah, that's right. Just like the ML800, uh -huh. we also test cut round ball. The round ball is cut in by five axes simultaneous. The roundness we measure is less than 30 microns. Okay, and what about the second workpiece? Yeah, the second workpiece is the octangle workpiece. This octangle workpiece we cut by three axes first, and then rotate at different angles to do fixed axis machining. 
The main purpose is to test the rotation accuracy and the influence of the temperature rise of the spindle. On the cutting surface, the cutting tolerance is below 20 microns. All right, so again, very tight tolerance is below 20 microns. So the H2517F, again, to type machining center for high precision, high speed, five axis simultaneous machining. Yes, that's right. Okay, beautiful, Joe. Now, two down, but Joe, we have two more Gen Tiger machines that we want to talk about. And I think the next one is a double column machining center, right? Yeah, that's right. The A75 5AX machine. 875 5AX. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Now, once we've set up everything at a new location, we'll be back with part three. Okay, now it's time to talk about Gen Tiger machine number three and four, because now we're introducing a whole series, the 875 5AX series. Now, the machine that you can see behind us right now is the 875 5AX IT, which means that it comes with an automatic pellet changer system. So that's the machine that we'll be focusing on now. But Joe, you will also tell us a little bit about the differences between this model and the original one without the pellet changer system, right? Yes. Okay, beautiful. So let's start with the basics. Tell us a little bit about the uh, uh, most important specs and the structure of this double column machining center. Okay. The S7558 X IT machine is developed for automated processing. The travel is 820 by 750 by 500 millimeter. Okay. Machine structure is T-shaped design. The color is one-piece casting. At the corner, we have a strengthened rib uh, to increase the rigidity. The color width is standard best mm -hmm. and combined together by hand scraping surface to get the best rigidity. All right, excellent. And you want to highlight something about the X and Y axis, right? And the movement of the table? Yes. The table moves on the X axis in full travel to get the stable support. In addition, X and Y axis are independent. So it can improve overall uh, vibration resistance. Okay, improving the vibration resistance with this design. And we also want to highlight a few things about the bolt screws and about the linear guideways, right? Yes. For this machine, we have a both screw inner cooling system in three axes to reduce thermal extension. The rapid feed rate is 45 meters per minute mm -hmm, to okay. increase cutting efficiency. All right. Besides the both screw and linear guideway, we use grease lubrication system to reduce pollution of waste oil. It can protect the environment. Okay, excellent. Now, next up, we want to talk about the spindle. So, Joe, what do we need to know about the spindle on this machine? Okay, we can offer 15,000 RPM, 18,000 RPM direct drive spindle with BVT40 over HSK863 mm -hmm. and 24,000 RPM HSK863. Okay, so a lot of options. Yes, for spindle cooling, we use constant temperature control cooler to cool spindle. It can maintain the spindle cooler in 0 0.2 degree to get high cooling efficiency mm -hmm. to reduce thermal extension. Mm -hmm. Besides, we have spindle heat compensation function and both screw heat compensation function. Both can control the thermal extension within 10 microns. Okay, but when it comes to uh, heat controls, we have even more because you have a cooling mechanism for the motor itself as well. Yes, in the red drive spindle motor, we have a motor cooling to reduce heat transfer to spindle head casting. And for some motor spindle, we have spindle head cooling function to reduce casting thermal deformation to increase cutting accuracy. All right, excellent. Now, next up, we want to talk about another integral component, and that is the rotary table on the H75 5AX IT. And that one, just like all rotary tables on Gen Tiger machines, is manufactured in Italy. Yes, the rotary table is made in Italy with warm gear drive system. The contact surface between warm gear has special treatment to keep long life. Okay, long and, product life? Yeah, and it's very easy to adjust after many years of use. Okay, excellent. And uh, you also have some customization options for the rotary table. Yes, if customer need a rotary table with torque motor direct drive system, we can offer as well. In addition, we have flush device under the table to prevent chip accumulation. It will remove by auger beside the table and take away by chip conveyor. 
All right, so no need to worry about the chip removal. It's done automatically as well. Yes. So um, I think next up we want to talk about the most important part of this machine, which is the pellet changer system. But before we walk over to take a closer look, we need to talk about the clamping system on the rotary table so that it can work together with the pellet changer system in a very smooth way. Yes, we install clamping system for pellet change on the table. The size of pallet is 450 by 450 millimeter, and it can load 200 kilograms. All right, Joe, so you just mentioned the pallet, so why don't we take a closer look at the pallet changer system? Okay. So, Joe, what do we need to know about the pallet changer system on this machine? The pallet changer system has six pallets. Each pallet can put one piece size. It's 450 millimeter square and 250 millimeter in height. You can exchange work piece beside the pallet storage during cutting. It will not affect the machining process. The pallet changer system equipped with intelligent human machine interface. It will detect the status of machining for proceeding a safe and efficient table movement. All right, so that's the pallet changer system. Now, in the background there behind the pallet changer, I can see parts of the tool magazine. So how many tools can I store on this machine? Talking about the tool magazine, we use matrix type tool magazine with 120 tools. It can quickly find in the tool to reduce tool exchange time. In addition, during processing, you can pick and place the tool in the tool magazine and it will automatically detect the current state to ensure the safe movement. In addition, its compact location area is also beneficial for the factory space utilization. Okay, and do I have any other options when it comes to the tool storage? Of course, we can equip with a chain type tool magazine with 40 tools or 60 tools as an option. Okay, so other options available as well. Now, Joe, finally, we don't want to leave out that this machine, just like the others that we introduced earlier, does come with a tool and workpiece measuring system and, of course, as well, a network interface. Yes, the laser tool measurement device and workpiece measurement device can precisely measure tool and workpiece automatically. A machine equipped with network interface, it can easily transmit program and data for more application. All right, Joe, so I think we've covered the most important features of the 875.5AX-IT. And now it's time to again talk about some numbers, accuracy, positioning accuracy, machining accuracy. And uh, again, we want to point out how important the ambient temperature, the surrounding temperature is, especially for 5-axis machining. So all the numbers that you will share with us, they were tested under standard uh, circumstances. Yes, in standard measurement with temperature control condition, the verticality is less than 6 microns. The positioning accuracy of 3 axis is less than 5 microns. And for rotary axis, it's below 5 arc seconds. The roundness is within 5 microns for each two axis. All right, and uh, this machine, again, just like the others, does have a compensation mechanism to reduce dynamic following errors during, especially during 5-axis simultaneous machining, right? Yes. In order to get the high accuracy of 5-axis simultaneous machining, each axis should be matched together precisely. So we need to do the kinematic compensation. It can compensate the rotary center deviation and the heat deviation from rotation. It can enhance the accuracy of machining the A75-5AX machine dynamic following error can reach plus and minus 10 microns. All right, within 10 microns. Now, Joe, of course, we've also filmed the A75-5AX IT in action, which means machining some of your test work pieces. And we can see the footage right now. So tell us, what are we seeing? Yes, we test cut round ball work piece. This round ball is cut by five axes simultaneous. The roundness we measure is less than 20 microns. This octangle wall piece we cut by three axes first and then rotate at different angles to do fixed axis machining. The main purpose is to test the rotation accuracy and the influence of the temperature rise of the spindle on the cutting surface. The cutting tolerance is below 20 microns. 
Okay, great. So that's the Gen Tiger 8755AXIT double column machining center with an automatic pellet changer. Now, we mentioned at the beginning that this machine is actually an upgrade of an older model that is still available, and that's the 875-5AX. So, Joe, maybe you can tell us a bit about the main differences between the two models. Yes, the 875-5AX machine design is same as this one, mm -hmm. just without the pallet changer system. The standard rotary table is 600 mm in diameter with one gear drive system. The table load is 500 kg. We can offer the red drive system by top motor. The rotary speed in A axis is 50 rpm. In C axis is 100 rpm. The table load is 1 ton. The maximum size of workpiece is 600 mm in diameter, 450 mm in height. Okay, and how about the tool magazine? Is it the same or? No. The standard tool magazine of SM55AX machine is 30 tools. It can upgrade to 60 tools or 120 tools. Okay, so I do have the option to have a 120 tool magazine as well. Yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, Joe, for introducing the 875-5AX series double column machining center. But we have even more, right? Yes. Because in the next part, we'll be back if this machine did not pique your interest. We've got two more, so don't go anywhere. So Joe, in this final part we want to highlight the range of machines that Gentiger manufactures and we want to talk about two more machines. The first one is a smaller one that was specifically designed for machining of electronics and medical parts. Yes, the 45 5AX machine is small double column 5AX machining center. It is suitable for medical and electronic industry. Okay, so what do we need to know about this machine? Give us the most important features. Yes, the machine structure is 450 by 350 by 300 mm. The structure is rigid. The column is arc-shaped design. It can let the cutting force evenly flow to the whole machine structure to get the best stability during cutting process. Okay, and on this one we have a rotary table with a roller cam system, right? Yes, the benefit of the roll cam system is it can be preloaded to get zero backlash. And through rolling contact transmission, it can reach high movie efficiency and rigidity and reduce heat creation. The table size is 160 mm. The table load is 50 kg. Okay, and what about the spindle on the 45 5AX? We can offer spindle from 20,000 RPM BT30 to 50,000 RPM HSK E32. If customer need BT40 or HSK A63, we can offer as well. Okay, excellent. So the 455AX, a more compact high-speed machining center. Yes, that's right. Okay, and uh, we have one more machine that we want to highlight, and I can tell you that's a big one. It's the HTA2500. So Joe, tell us a bit more about this big boy. Okay, the HTA2500 is a big double column 5 axis machining center. The machine structure is very rigid and installed with high performance to access height. It is mainly used in the automotive industry and the aerospace industry. Okay, and uh, of course you want to highlight the size of the machine, so tell us a bit about uh, the travels and the special features on the X, Y and Z axis. Yes, the machine travel is 2.5 meter by 1.6 meter by 800 millimeter. And the X axis travel can increase to 3 meters. Okay, okay. And so what about XYZ axis? I believe we have both screws on all axes and also a cooling function on X and Y, right? Yes. X axis and Y axis both screws have the inner cooling function to reduce thermal elongation. Both are supported by three high rigidity linear guide ways to increase cutting stability. In addition, both are driven by rotating nut driving system to prevent vibration from both screw rotation. Okay, so we've talked about the X and Y axis. What about the Z axis? What's special there? The Z axis is driven by single ball screw with box-shaped saddle and four linear guide ways to support spindle head. We can also offer Z axis double ball screw drive as an option. 
Okay, so again another option here. And uh, what about the tool magazine? I believe this ten it comes standard with 24 tool magazine. Yes, the standard tool magazine is 24 tools. It can upgrade to 40 tools or 60 tools. All right, excellent. Now, Joe, the HGA 2500, it's a huge machining center. So maybe you can also tell us about the load capacity, what kind of work is, how heavy can it be? Yes, the table load is 10 tons. It is suitable for big mold and part machining. Okay, beautiful. That was the HGA 2500. So I believe this was a very comprehensive introduction of the product range here at GenTiger all across the board, high-speed, high-quality machining centers for various applications. Now, before we conclude this part, we want to talk about two very important topics that come up from time to time. We want to address some concerns that some viewers might have. First, regarding the accuracy of the machine, especially for people who uh, start using Gentiger machines for the very first time, so and realize that they cannot get the same accuracy, the same precision that you have tested for under standard circumstances. So Joe, how do you help new customers to set up the machine perfectly? While customers face workpiece precision problem, we can judge by our plenty experience. It could be happen from program pass tool shape, tool measurement, machine leveling, foundation, TCPN correction, and so on. We can instruct customers step by step to solve the problem. All right, so no matter whether it's an old customer, a new customer, you will always guide your customers to the perfect machine setup, hardware and software-wise, uh, so they can achieve the machining results that they desire. Yes. All right. And one more issue that we want to address is uh, the chip removal problem during machining. While it actually isn't a problem anymore because you do have very efficient solutions for that as well. That's right. Customers are very concerned about the chip removal efficiency, especially in large amount chip occurred from aluminum cutting. We have a solution for this. We test and improve to remove the big amount chip. Okay, excellent. Joe, Thank you very much for introducing all those machining centers made by Gentiger. We talked about six machines in total. Yes. So uh, I think now it's time we can go back to the main office and then you tell us a bit about your quality control procedures. Okay, let's go. Let's go. You lead the way. And we are back in the main office building of Gen Tiger. And Joe, we've seen three machines close up and introduced four machines in total. Different applications, but all high speed machining centers. And uh, of course, also high quality machines. And quality, that's the keyword in this segment. We want to talk about your quality control procedures here at Gen Tiger. So maybe you can walk us through the whole process. Yes. Uh Talking about the quality control, we execute four main procedures to ensure machine quality, such as incoming quality control, in-process quality control, final quality control, and outgoing quality control. All right, Joe, so why don't we talk about every single stage one by one, starting with the incoming quality control procedures. For incoming quality control, we inspect incoming parts strictly and demand supplier self-check as well. For big component, we will go to supplier to reject the quality. Okay, and uh, I know that Gen Tiger, the company, you always try to establish long-term relationships with your suppliers, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, excellent. So you know the components that they deliver are high quality. Now let's move on to the manufacturing process itself. What kind of QC control procedures do you have there? Yes, uh, for in-process quality control. Our assembly people do self-check and record the accuracy for every assembly uh, process. We use torque wrench to make sure the locking force is enough for every screw and mark it to easily check the quality. In addition, the spindle running test is important. We do the vibration test, noise test, spindle heat compensation test, and flatness cutting test to make sure the assembly quality. All right, so all kinds of in-process quality control procedures. Now, before shipping the machine to your customer, there is still the final quality check, right? Yes. For final quality control, we inspect every machine when it is completed. After that, we will proceed the workpiece cutting test 
and measure the accuracy, and then retune the parameter to optimize the machine. Then we will do 72 hours machine running test for each machine to make sure all function and quality is well. Okay, wow, so every single machine you will run for 72 hours to ensure the speed, precision, accuracy, the quality. Yeah, that's right. Okay, and so that's it? That's the QC procedure? No, there is one more step. For outgoing quality control, we will recheck the machine quality by checking this before shipment to make sure everything is well. All right, so a whole array of QC procedures to ensure the highest quality, the most consistent quality as well as possible. Now, Joe, let us move on to the next topic. We want to talk about Industry 4.0, Industry 4.0 applications and features that you have implemented and that you have developed for your machines. We talked about some of them when we were introducing the machines, but now we want to talk a bit more in depth about every single smart manufacturing solution that you've come up with. Yes, talking about the Industrial 4.0, we have some solution for customers. The first is uh, intelligent remote monitoring function. Okay, remote monitoring. What yes. can you tell us about that? We can offer intelligent remote monitoring function for management. It can show the utilization rate for every machine in factory. In addition, it can show the operator efficiency as well. So the manager can realize where to improve and how to improve, including machine and people. Then you can improve the production efficiency. All the production statistic data can be printed on report. It's very easy to check the production situation. Okay, so total control at any given time, you know what is going on in your plan with all the machines at the same time. Now, you just mentioned the utilization rate, so can you tell us a little bit more about that feature? Yes, in utilization rate, you can real-time monitor the machine status to see machine is in working, alarm, standby, or downtime. Then to do a quickly reaction or improvement. In addition, you can analyze the top 10 alarm messages to know the machine main problem and to solve it. In remote monitoring function, you can monitor the production status of machine in the factory or machine in different areas, even machine in different country as well. Besides, we can offer the remote operation function it can operate machine from home after work. If you, you have this requirement, it's easy to handle machine. All right, so you can control the machine or all your machines in your manufacturing plant from home. Yes. Excellent. Now, Joe, let us talk about automation solutions. And uh, we want to distinguish solutions for standalone machines, just one machining center. And also you have solutions for complete complex production lines, right? Yes, that's right. Talking about the automation solution, we have a solution for standalone and the production line. For standalone automation solution, we can equip with robust system, pallet changer system, automatic measuring system, and the replace tool function to reach standalone automation. Okay, and what about uh, complete production lines? Yes, the production line solution, we can expand the application of standalone automation and equipped with the workpiece storage system and transportation system to achieve production line automation. All right, but uh, Joe, we have even more smart machining features that you've implemented to reduce downtime and also to increase efficiency, right? Yes, talking about the smart machine, in order to perform reliable production to reduce downtime, we install sensor to detect machine status to notify user before failure occur. This includes speed of life and possible life prediction, regular maintenance notification, online service, and alarm message sent to user cell phone to ensure a quick reaction and reduce downtime. All right, excellent. Now, Joe, the next uh, Gen Tiger technology solution that we want to talk about has to do with the thermal extension or elongation of the spindle, right? Yes, as we know, when spindle and both screw rotation, it will create heat and thermal extension will happen. We have solution for customer. We have spindle heat compensation function. It can control the thermal extension under 10 microns. And the both screw heat compensation function. It can control the thermal extension of both screw less than 10 microns. And for some spindle, we have the spindle head casting cooling function. 
to reduce the thermal deformation and enhance cutting accuracy. Besides, we have the spindle core core function to core inner of spindle, including tool contact surface. Those cooling function can increase the cutting accuracy. All right, but uh, you not only have uh, smart solutions for the hardware, but also for the software to make uh, machining smarter, right? Yes, we have an intelligent machining solution for customers, such as virtual and real integrated simulations before the actual online production. The predict cutting time is almost the same as the real cutting time. It is very beneficial for project evaluation. Besides, it can inspect the tool path in advance to prevent wrong cutting, and it can check the interference of the fixture by simulation to prevent collision to protect machine. In addition, for machine troubleshooting, this function can quickly analyze the problem, including POC, and help to solve it. It is also very suitable for training as well. All right, and I believe we have two more smart functions that we want to highlight. One is the vibration resistance, and the other one is uh, the load adaptation function. Yes, regarding the vibration resistance function, the controller can automatically modify the fixed rate through the signal from the spindle sensor. The load adaptation function can automatically adjust parameter, but the table is loaded in different range to reach up more cutting result. Of course, if customer has any special request for test cutting, we can satisfy customer's demand. Okay, excellent. So, Joe, I think we've introduced uh, four machines. Gen Tiger, we talked about your um, quality control procedures. We talked about your Industry 4.0 smart uh, solutions, smart technologies. And of course, the main goal is and was to introduce Gentiger and Gentiger machines to potential buyers, but also to introduce Gentiger to potential distributors around the world. So maybe you can summarize a bit why Gentiger is an excellent partner and why Gentiger machines are excellent machines to be sold around the world. Okay, we are always thinking about what kind of machine is dealer want to sell. We think our machine has rigid structure with high accuracy and good cutting performance. If you compare with other machines, you can know our machine has stronger structure, so it can keep long-term accuracy. I think this is very good benefit for customers' investment. In addition, we offer automation solution for customers to solve the problem of automatic production. We offer remote monitoring function for customers to help management finding methods to increase production efficiency. We offer smart machine solution for customers to do precaution before failure occurs. It can reduce machine downtime. We offer tip compensation solution and the smart machining solution for customers to increase cutting accuracy and efficiency. So to summarize, Gentiger offer high benefit machine for customer investment and total solution for customer. That's why Gentiger is your best partner. All right, excellent, Joe. So you heard it, if you are a machine tool seller anywhere in the world and you're looking for a reliable partner, a reliable uh, machine tool manufacturer, a manufacturer of high speed, high quality machining centers, then Gentiger is definitely company that you should consider. Now, Joe, thank you very much. And with this, we're almost at the end of today's show. We have one final part where Gen Tiger's general manager, Mr. Lee, will join us again. Man, what an MTS industry show today for high precision, high quality and high speed machines. But we're not done quite yet. For the very last segment, Mr. Lee, the general manager, has joined us again and now he'll share with us what we can expect from Gen Tiger in the future. Alright, so we can expect a lot more from Gentiger in the future when it comes to high-speed machining. Mr. Lee, 
thank you very much thank again you. for having us today. Thank you. And Joe, thank you so much for your time throughout the past few days and thank you for introducing the machines to us. Thank yep. you, it was a pleasure. Thank you. thank you. And thank you for watching today's MTS industry show at GenTiger. If you want to find out more about the company, all the machines that we've introduced in today's show, just head to the website or give them a call. This was MTS industry show at GenTiger. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye, -bye.